Hey guys, Black Bolt. It is Wednesday, August 11th, and as you can see, my car is fully charged, and it is predicting 240 miles, and this is with the AC turned off. So we're going to try and get this battery state to go as low as possible and see um, what its actual battery capacity is. It's about 5.35 a.m. And I've left the neighborhood and it looks like it's going to be raining today. Um, doesn't seem like it rained overnight. And as you can see, the sun hasn't risen yet, which is one of the cool things about Minnesota is around June 21st, the days start getting shorter and shorter until we reach winter. And in winter, if you work in an office, most days you will not see the sun it'll be pitch black when you wake up and the sun sets by five o'clock and it's pitch black when you come home so i am on my way to picking up a friend of mine i drop him off at the station in ramsey and then i do ride share for a couple of hours and then get home and work at 8 a.m so my radio decided to turn on and as you can see Half a kilowatt hour used so far since the last full charge, which is overnight. Two and a half miles traveled from my house to my friend's house. And that's trending at five miles per kilowatt hour. And it's not going to stay that way. Obviously, it's going to drop closer to four. Otherwise, we'd be looking at 300 miles in this charge, which just isn't going to happen. Hey, guys. This is the Minnesota Federal Bureau of Investigation Office. And as you can see, I've used five kilowatt hours of electricity right now, and I've gone 25 miles, and my meter is saying that I can still go 225 miles. And um, if you remember, at 95% when I was charging before, it was predicting a total range of 225 miles. So I've gotten all that range back, and it's still being way too efficient. Five kilowatt hours and 25 miles I still don't think I'm going to be able to maintain that pace otherwise we'd be looking at a 300 mile battery so sooner or later you can see that I'm trending up to 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour which is fairly normal I guess for my driving during summertime but I'm just expecting it to get lower it's not gonna stay at 5 miles per kilowatt hour hey guys so I am just about at 10 kilowatt hours used 51 and a half miles so i'm trending higher now i'm at about um 5.25 miles per kilowatt hour and i still have 211 miles of range at this pace and right over here target headquarters in brooklyn park that's their second building their main headquarter is in downtown Minneapolis, as is Target Center where the Timberwolves and the Lynx play. This is the Mississippi River, and I like this drive going from Champlin into Anoka, except right now there's construction which is making it take longer than usual. All right, made it back home, and I am going to be logged in and working diligently by 8.30. And as you can see, I have 202 miles of range left and traveled 63.9 miles and used 12.2 kilowatt hours of energy. That is somewhere between 5.1 and 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour, which is really impressive. So um, temperature is 73 degrees in the Twin Cities right now. Most of this driving was short distance and very little of it was highway. So that's why it stayed up that high. And when I go out later this evening after I'm done with work, I'll probably do maybe three rides of Lyft, but the majority of my driving is going to be Uber Eats and DoorDash. So that's also going to keep the miles per kilowatt hour pretty high. I'm still not convinced that it's going to stay around five miles per kilowatt hour, but we shall see. All right, I am heading out. So as you can see, remaining range is still 270 miles. I've got 140,299 miles on the odometer. And as of right now, I've used 12.2 kilowatt hours, traveled 63.9 miles, 
and I did not charge at all during the day. All right, so I am at 20 kilowatt hours used and 100 miles. So the car is still running very, very efficiently, which is pretty awesome. I am back home for a short break. As you can see, I've got 96 miles remaining. I'm at 140,394 miles. So far, I have driven 159.6 miles today and used 32.4 kilowatt hours of energy. And then if we take a look at the phone, it says that the remaining is 39% of battery capacity. And then um, 159.6 over 32.4 is approximately 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So today has been super efficient. And as you can see, I did use climate and I, and I was on the highway. So that's why I dropped below five miles per kilowatt hour, but it's been a real efficient day. So um, I'm gonna try and get the car down to 30 miles of range. So that would be another 60-ish miles of driving after I have dinner. And let's see if I can get that number for you uh, for the degradation. And um, I think at 30 miles left, that will be low enough where I can just use the math formula. And then obviously when I plug the car in to charge overnight, I will put it on hilltop so that it doesn't charge up to 100% again. All right, guys, so I am making one more run for the team. I've got it in sport mode. Whoa! This is a 40 mile an hour road, so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down, but that was awesome, so much fun. It is a beautiful sunset this evening in Minnesota. Um, train is going to be coming from the east, that's the other west. And then here is the beautiful Ramsey, Minnesota sunset. So that was really fascinating. This train never actually showed up. So arms went down, nothing happened. Hey guys, I did it. I am back home. The car is now up to 140,459 miles. I've got 26 miles remaining. And that's pretty accurate. I've driven this car down to 0% state of charge. So I know that when it says I can drive 26 more miles, I can actually drive 26 more miles. And then when we come and look over here, 224.3 miles driven today, exactly 48 kilowatt hours of electricity used. That comes to about 4.6-ish miles per kilowatt hour. And then if we take a look at the phone, you can see that the current state of charge with 26 miles to go is 11%. So if we take 48 miles driven, divide it by 89%, that's going to give us about 54 kilowatt hours. And I've been using 58 as the original kilowatt hours so this implies about seven percent degradation after 140,459 miles i would say that's pretty good and then um one other thing that i wanted to mention about this efficiency 4.6 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour four and a half miles per kilowatt hour whatever it it is i'll put that on the screen volkswagen seems to have convinced people that coasting is more efficient than regen braking and that is complete nonsense i've driven this car for 90,000 miles now and i can assure you that using regen braking in your daily driving is far more efficient if you want to maximize the miles that you can drive than coasting and using the friction brake as you can see, if I were to drive it until it was completely empty, um, it was going to go 250 miles on about 54 kilowatt hours. That's extremely efficient. That's higher than the EPA rating because the EPA rating is 240 miles on 60 kilowatt hours. So anyways, um, hope this is all useful. As always, if you get value from the channel, like, comment, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions and let's get to 
a thousand community members strong. Have a good evening.